Oh, oh my god. god. Just crossed the 20 minute mark and this thing is just still <laughs> taking us. Meet Jonathan telling us that this guy right here would be over 100 bucks in the store easy. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's Weston Smith, and we are out here with Captain Jonathan with Fishing with Salty. You guys got to check him out. Look, we are already on. Already on. We're three miles offshore out here on Anna Maria Island in Florida, and we're trying to get on some big fish. It looks like John's on, too. Whoa! What is that? Chase him. Hey, leave that in the water. Leave that in the water. Let him eat it. Leave that in the water. Oh, my gosh. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it in the water. We're going to get it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Get it. Whoa! Oh! Oh! No, no. Oh, oh I said it. a giant barracuda. The thing was massive. So John just had a fish on the hook and he went after that fish, which was probably a mackerel because we just caught one first cast. This is insane action out here, you guys. I know you're going to enjoy this one. Stick around. Let me get a line in the water myself. I'm going to walk you through how we've been rigging the bait today. This is a pilchard, kind of like a white fish with the little green back on here. They've essentially got a hole like right underneath these fins. It's tough to see, but there's got, they've got a natural hole and you just kind of hook right through there. And uh, apparently you've done it wrong if you see him bleeding. You went through the wrong spot. So this guy is rigged and ready to go. And we've just been launching these things straight off the back of the boat on a 20 pound braid with a 20 pound leader when we were uh, closer to the shore earlier. And then right now we're rocking some heavier setups. I think this is like 60 pound braid with a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Literally just letting this thing sit out there until you get those bites. We're trying to catch that monster barracuda y'all. So what we're doing is going for a mackerel here on these lighter setups. And let's say we get a mackerel, we're gonna throw that out for the big stuff. We're gonna toss that on the wire leader we've got right over here. Salty's retying it right now and go for that big barracuda that actually just hit the last one we threw in right off the bat. So he's kind of hanging around the boat. We're gonna see if we can't snag him here in just a little bit. Nice, Becca. That's what we need. That's the big bait right there. And there's homie. We got two. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's the big there. right there. He is ready for these mackerel. Hello. Just, just any old way. Giant barracuda off to the boat's left. We are about to get one of these mackerel in the water and try and get them all. We got more bait! Oh my god, that was insane. Wow, y'all, we literally had the barracuda just eat that last mackerel, but we've got another one lined up ready. We're gonna see if he'll come back. I'm sure he will, because that was two that he's gone for now. Let's try and make it three. There he is, there he is, there he is. You got him. No way. Look, 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 right here, right here, right here. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my he god. is coming back for it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got no it. way. Here, here. No way, no way. Go for it, Becca. Go <laughs> Get it. Oh, barracuda. Whoa. Oh, watch, out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh, it came unhooked. That was insane. Whoa. And he's in the mood to feed. He's like ready for us to toss another, just like you said. That's insane. Dude, that thing is big. Imagine that barracuda just doing like a top water smash, just like a boom. Look at all the bait. It's madness, man. 20 mile an hour wind gust. The trolling motor is doing its thing. I mean, it is a little choppy out here today. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> we just got a better looking mackerel in here, man, to try and attract some of these bigger species. Big bait, big fish, they say. This might be it. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, how about you pick a side, dude? Right. Pick a side. Another species on the boat. Get him in the water. All right, bye. Oh. Right here, right here, right here. That's the one. Oh my god. That's, That's the one. Oh, Becca's on with the giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, back to back. That's, right, a, that's good a good one. That's a good one. That's a giant. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. This might be one of those kingfish right here. John's got a big head. Oh my god. This thing has already done a full 360 around the boat. Other way. Hey, really? There you go. What is that? Look, 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 look. Are those oh, sharks? Those are cobia. Those, those are cobia? cobia? Well, they looked like half the size of this boat. Oh, and we're about to drop down this bonita to see if we can snag him. It's a bonita that John had. This is nuts. There we go. All right, let's see what we 
got here. All right, we're hooked up, y'all. A potential for a cobia, it sounds like. He's got some heavy shakes. Yeah. Like when he tugs, it's no joke. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah, baby. Oh, man. Something good, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Homie is going crazy back here. Hooked up with uh, most likely the biggest fish of the day right here. This thing is pulling hard. It's got some heavy weight. Let me tell you what. And when he wants to run, he just takes you down an extra hundred yards of line. It's absolutely nuts, man. Hopefully we can get this thing to the boat. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Salty baby, book your tour. Let's go. Holy smokes, my biggest fish of the trip. Woo! That's all I got to say, man. Let's try and get us some more. So much for my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> He's going in this. I was barely gonna fit. Let's get him on ice. Woo! Oh, that's a hundred quart yeti too. Barely Woo! fit him. Oh my gosh. Good job, bro. Thank you, sir. Woo! Took me a minute, but I'm finally on the board. Fought a little bit harder than the large mouth in the ponds y'all are used to, man. Go ahead and drop a like for this one. Devin, take that, take that. Get him, Devin. Okay, 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 okay. Make, make sure the rod's bending. Yes. Yeah, I put it between my legs, the rod, and yeah, it, it made it easier. <laughs> you know where I saw that? A John B video. <laughs> this is going to be bigger than the one if I that, caught. If that's the one that was boiling back yeah. there, that oh. thing's a giant. Wow. Oh, okay. Goodness. <laughs> Yeah. Closing in on a 15 minute fight with this guy, y'all. No, no, no. Oh my she's gosh, not. she's not no. done yet. Do you want to try? <laughs> just crossed the 20 minute mark and this thing is just still taking us. No wow. joke. <laughs> oh. oh! No! Oh! No. It just happened at 20 minutes in. That's a huge bummer. Woo! Almost a half hour fight ends in tragedy. Ah, oh, my heart, my heart. All right, y'all just made it back on land. Captain Jonathan over here is filleting us up the goods. You said steaking versus filleting these Yeah, guys? I'm gonna steak it out so you guys can marinate it in some Italian dressing and throw it on the grill. He says that's his preferred method, so we're gonna go ahead and probably toss these things on the grill for you guys. Do a little bit of a catch, clean, and cook to round the day out. What an epic time out on the water, man. Had an absolute blast. If you guys want to book with Captain Salty, check out his information down in the description. I'm gonna showcase a little behind the scenes of this process right here, and then we'll catch you guys at the grill. Slabs of meat. Jonathan's telling us that this guy right here would be over 100 bucks in the store easy, like 35 bucks a pound. Oh, yeah. 35 bucks a pound. And this is half, half that cobia we brought in today. Woo! Big money. Fine dining out here at the Airbnb. All right, guys, we are here in the backyard before sunset and we are going to cook up the fish that Captain Salty has cut up for us. We are super stoked. First things first, we've got some of the kingfish fillets and they've got some Italian dressing that they've been marinating in. And then we've got the bonita that we're gonna do with a little bit of slap your mama Cajun seasoning. We enjoy this most everything we put it on, so we're gonna see what happens with this right here. And then also we have the cobia. Captain John told us it was like 35 bucks a pound. I think we got over $200 worth of the cobia fillet. So what we're gonna do is actually just try and savor that as is. We're gonna do a little salt and pepper on there, toss it on the grill, it's at 350 degrees you need to cook your fish to about 145 so what we're gonna do is just kind of eyeball it because we don't have a thermometer here at the place and we've also got a fresh topper to put on some of the fish we've got red onion parsley lime and tomato we just mix that up let's go ahead and get everything on the grill
fish are getting started, we've also got some fresh asparagus in the foil packet in the back there for a side. It looks delicious, man. I can't wait. All right, y'all, everything is done and off the grill, looking absolutely delicious. We want to get to it while it's hot. We're just going to give you a quick rundown on what we think is the best. Apparently, if you get smoked fish dip around here, like 90% of the time, you're getting the kingfish in there. I don't know if it's because of what we put on it, but honestly, this is maybe my favorite, the kingfish tonight. The way we did it up. Well, this had the Italian dressing marinade. That's right. The Kobe is really good, too. I love the fact that it really isn't all that fishy. Fresh, never frozen. I don't know him. From charter to table all in one episode, man. So after trying all three of them, what's your first, second, and third favorites? First, second, and third favorites? Yeah. Like in the Worst favorites or most favorites? No, like first, obviously, Start the best. Start with the bronze medal? Yeah. I give the bronze medal just because it's the way we cooked it. Unfortunately, I think we didn't give it the justice, but I think the Bonita is getting the bronze medal from me. What is your last place winner? I think I would have to agree with you on that Bonita. I just don't think it is just not nearly as good. No, third place. What's your second place? As much as I like the Cobia, I really, really like that Italian dressing marinade on the Kingfish. So I think the Cobia is probably in my second place, which obviously would leave the Kingfish <laughs> in the, gold the third medal. place and super easy to prepare. Yeah, seriously. A few hours, mm -hmm. tossing it on the grill and uh, you're off to the races. Nothing to it. And we didn't do too much Italian dressing. So literally we put a couple of these fillets into a little Ziploc and we just doused enough Italian dressing to really get them coated so. and then left those in the fridge for a little bit. No grill experts by any means. <laughs> yeah, definitely not grill experts, but I, I, I'm with you. I think second place for me just because of, again, the way we cooked it, and I think it could deserve first place if it was done up by a professional, <laughs> but the Cobia. I think it takes the uh, silver medal with me, and then gold goes to the Kingfish. We just, we went over the top on that one, guys. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of our efforts. I think we did a pretty dang good job. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for first timers, we got more Florida content headed y'all's direction sometime soon. So be on the lookout for it. We had a blast from this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys could taste this stuff, I'm sure you'd enjoy it yourself. Devin and I are going to go ahead and chow down on the rest of this delicious fish, y'all. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>